Thanks for joining me. Well, some of you may remember that bending jig I made. It's only for quarter inch rod, which is a, a, a limitation, but it's got some other limitations too. Uh, first of all, it measures from one end of the bend. It measures from right here. So you've got to calculate this and determine how long to make this for whatever you're bending. And that calculation right there gets kind of weird because it's compressing and stretching. Uh, but what I'd like to do is make a bender that measures from the center of the bend and, and then half of the stock is missing from each half. And I think that'll be easier to calculate. I may be wrong. But uh, I'm going to make it like a, uh, I think they call it a press break, where an object comes down like that and bends stock. Uh, but I'm going to utilize my large uh, arbor press here to make, uh, to make this bend. Anyway, let me show you what we got. Okay, I've got these V rollers here, surplus from something. Bearings in them aren't the best, but they'll they'll be fine. And they got a uh, 12 millimeter bearing in them. I, I turned down some half inch to fit that. And I'm going to use this in my arbor press to bend metal. I'm going to attach that to the ram of the arbor press and push down like that to bend metal. And I think it'll work pretty good. I've made several uh, benders in the past and I really was not too pleased with any of them. The uh, biggest problem is when you're trying to bend something to hold the rod here while you're bending it. It always wants to slip so it throws your measurement off. But this will always be centered. Uh, Anyway, we'll try it, see how it works. So the next step is to get this spacing right, right here, for these rollers. I'm going to weld these pieces to the bottom. And then clamp that in my mill, and mill slots in that. About halfway, probably a quarter inch deep, maybe three eighths. So those drop down in the slots. I'm going to mill one right there, one the next one over, and probably three different places. Half inch radius is about the smallest bend I'll make. So what I need to do is measure the spacing here. It's one, two, and an eighth. Two and one eighth.
Yeah, I just realized a longer shoulder bolt would resolve that issue. Now it'll... Yeah, that'll work good. Okay, here's a piece of eighth inch, and I think that'll bend it almost in half. That mark right there is the center of the bend. I should be able to line that r red mark up. Hmm, seemed to do pretty good. I got a feeling I could break that shoulder bolt off if I don't move this back. That'll work. Not quite a right angle. I'm going to have to grind out this area in here or mill it out. That's what I'm going to do now. What I plan on doing, I'll probably do it at a later date, is putting some rollers on that. In fact, I may have some rollers. Let me look. I have a roller from a previous rod bending jig that I made. I like it. Well, that didn't really even put a mark on there. So that, that, I think I got one more larger than that too. Probably won't fit. Oh yeah, it'll fit. Well, I like it. It's going to work good for some stuff anyway. It's got some limitations. But I like it. It'll do what I want to do. Hey, that about wraps it up for today. And uh, thanks for joining me. Be sure and subscribe and ring that bell.